Jeff at Total Value RV, Elkhart, Indiana, where you come into strangers and you leave as friends. Just want to show you uh, some rearranging we did. Uh, our micro lights here and our aces. Our Georgetown's. Oh, what's this? KLS. This is a Georgetown GT5. And guess what? It's a 2020. Yeah, the first 2020 on the lot. Georgetown GT5 by Forest River. It's amazing. I'm excited. You seem excited. Are you ready? Let's look at it. You know, on second thought, even better, our Forest River Georgetown rep, Brent, has showed up today for some sales training. And we're going to see if we can get him to do a video. He's a little reticent because he's dressed a little casual, but we're just going to have fun. We have fun around here. We sell fun, and we like to have fun selling fun. So join us for the 2020 Georgetown GT5 34H5 sales training. We dress casual at Total Value RV. RV. We expect Brent to dress casual as well. So, so Brent, please go ahead. One of the things on this floor plan as well, uh, most bath and a half, most bath and a half, you, you lose a, a storage bay underneath because you've got two separate tanks. Gotcha. With ours, you get the full pass through. When you walk out of this coach, a lot of our competitors still have their propane tanks, they'll have their generator, they'll have uh, they'll, they'll have the water tank. When you come out of this coach, it's, it, it is all pass through from your front door all the way to your rear tires, which is a lot of extra storage as soon as you come out of the coach. Um, if you look up, you notice you've got an awning that goes from your door all the way out. You've got another separate awning going to the back. So you've got full awning, awning cover from the front door to the back cap. You've got LED lights that run all the way that'll light up your whole campsite. We've moved in this floor plan, we've moved the outside TV to, to the rear. Um, you've now got a 40 inch TV on the outside. It's back in the rear. We've added a Bluetooth speaker. I don't know if you remember used to, we had the little analog sticks on the inside, inside speakers, outside speakers. Now everything's Bluetooth. So we've got, we got Bluetooth on the interior. Bluetooth exterior. You also have your HDMI plugs in here. So that's something that we have. That's something that we have added to uh, added to that as well. But you also get full pass through. So for a coach that's a bath and a half, having four full pass through bays um, is pretty impressive. Typically, you're going to have two separate dump tanks. You're going to have two two separate tanks for each one. We've got the black and the gray. You've got you still got your 82 gallons of fresh water in the middle, uh, and in the center of the coach. You remember how all of our all of our tanks are all V-shaped. Uh, keeps all the water weight in the center. Ivan's rolling our awning out for us right now. Is it a full coach awning? What's that? I like that. Yeah, me too. I think these one of these arms will lower too, won't they? Oh, oh yes. yes. The glow. They both lower. Which this one one's... lowers to dump the side of the water? This one's over the awning, yeah, but they'll both slick. lower. That's slick. They'll both lower. It looks good, buddy. Flying full deck. We built this coach. I mean, I don't talk to your retail customers as you do, but we, we built this coach to try to get over this and what these are looking for. People want to have a good outside space, lots of light. I mean, now you can get LED lights, you want to have the whole, the whole display, a big 40 inch TV on the outside, Bluetooth speakers. Hey, there's only one, uh, there's only one yeah. We're rocking out, we can't hear you. <laughs> yep, with the outside television. Yep. So it can go radio, radio, radio Bluetooth. Bluetooth to that. Spotify, nice. Pandora. Two water here or just one? Just one. Okay. Six gallon, ten? Six, six gallon. Gas electric? Gas electric. Very nice. 
fiberglass back cap. What about the roof? Roof's fiberglass. Everything's curved. It's all one piece. Um, it's got a gutter it runs right down the side of it. Gutter runs off. What's the, the weight limit on your ladder? Runs off the front. Can Jeff hundred. climb up it? Oh yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> 350? Okay, yes. Come up there, Jeff. See what we got. <clears throat> you want me to? See if you can. You don't, <laughs> It's not that I look down on you all. Hey, very nice. How's the roof look? Everything look good? Sealed? Look at this. How's your rain testing, Brad? Good seal. Beautiful. So this beautiful sun here in Elkhart. Isn't there? It's the power. I see an inverter there, too. What's yep. that for? Yep. What's the inverter for? The 2001 inverter runs runs your coach. Uh, doesn't just run your fridge. A lot of our competitors just have a residential fridge. We've got a gas electric fridge. We got drain holes. Yep, yes. drain yes. holes yes. one way in. Wash them out. Wash them out. Nothing else will come up. Hey, Brad, do you rain feed to your coaches? Hundred percent of our coaches get rain rain tested. Every, when everything's rain tested, slides go in and out three separate times. We bring the slides in, bring the slides out, bring the slides in, bring the slides out back in before we roll it out. It's about a 10, 15 minute process where we, we're bringing it, everything in and out. Three people on the inside checking for that. We'll take it back out and we've got a little door that we put on. Pump the air through, um, go around the whole coach, spray some uh, soap around all of all of your openings and uh, check, check is, leaks. But 100% of the coach. This is new, what is up with, this is different. That's your uh, fridge. Back side of your fridge, it's in the slide. I know, but this is the bigger, the bigger yeah, panel. Yeah. It's a bigger, it's a bigger fridge. It's a big fridge, not one of those small six or eight. Is that to vent it more or something? Because yep. normally I just had the little door panel. Yeah, it's a 12 cubic foot. Oh, even the top bigger. is the same too. But it's a little bit bigger. Wow. But again, keep in mind here, you've got your full pass through again. So one, two, three, pass through. What I like is we don't put the generator underneath your bed back in the back. We put the generator all the way up front that's underneath your fridge. It's away from your TV, it's away from your bedroom. Um, directly underneath your kitchen area. Up front, you got your big propane tank as well. So, how we build our coaches? Again, we've got a lot of competitors that'll put this on their on their driver's side. So you've got to walk around and get to some of your outside storage. That side of the coach, if you notice, was all storage. This side of the coach, you know, you don't want to be working on your propane tank, your generator, on that side when you're hosting a watching a football game. You all the storage on that side. You can come back to this side. Notice everything slam latch. Big, big, thick baggage doors. Still use the same cameras as we've uh, been using. All of our cameras are about three and a half feet off the ground. We don't put them up here in the mirror. If you got a blind spot in the mirror, you got a blind spot in the camera. Yeah, five. I like it. I like it too. This, uh, this is a lot. That new now, steel. Does that light up? Yep, that too. lights up. The Georgetown lights Georgetown up. Georgetown lights That'll up. Look cool. Very nice. Your LED blinkers down here will also light up. Those will flash and turn your blinkers on. They'll be an amber and a white LED light. I like the smaller door to the hood too. Rather than Keep in mind our eight pillars here. Uh, you think first-time motorhome buyers? A lot of first-time motorhome buyers they don't want a big, big, huge blind spot. Um, you've got you've got the small eight pillars. You've got the low cameras. You also have uh, roller shades on the inside versus curtains. So right now the sun's directly in my eye. If I want to roll that curtain down, I can roll the curtain, the uh, shade down. Still see my my mirror versus rolling that curtain over. Now I'm blocking both. Uh, yes. Um, all electric beds. Actually, I'm doing. I mean, I'm doing roughly 50/50 because some people still like the other bed. The other bed, the manual bed, is not power. Um, however, this power bed is a 700 pound weight limit. It also has a box spring. A lot That's of these. Quiet it is. A lot of these overhead bunks, they don't have a box spring. What's nice about this bed is underneath. You can see how this is. This is made like a like a normal bed. It's not just a mattress sitting on top of a piece of wood. Um, what I like about it as well is you've got little stoppers over here on the on the ends. You get you stick that little screw there, a little screw there. You can lower these stoppers down here to the bottom, lean these front seats back, and an adult can get in this bed without a ladder. Well, that's you, cool. you can raise that. You can lower that bed all the way down to here. So for someone like me, just put your front front hands up, climb right in there. Um, and again, it's a 700 pound weight limit. When we built this coach, some of the things we were looking for was. Um, Going going into shows, I kind of have a checklist. What are what are people looking What are people looking for? And I know when they come to you, people look for storage, they look for kitchen countertop space, they look for comfortable seating, they look for opposing slides, uh, they look for king beds, they look for washer dryers, they look for a big shower. With this coach, we try to put all of that into one. 
So you notice up front, we've, we've changed our dash. We now have a 10-inch screen. That screen is massive. The camera is awesome. The backup camera is awesome. The side cameras are awesome. Um, you get full vision of this coach when you're sitting in the cockpit. Wherever you want to see, left, right, back, and front. Obviously, you got this nice big windshield. A lot of our competitors, they bring this, they bring this dash straight out. That's why their windshields look a lot smaller. Okay, we we angle our dash. How our how our front caps are our uh, how our front caps are kind of positioned. Our cap goes this way and it goes back this way. It's very aerodynamic. That allows us to have those thin A pillars. That also shows me where the front of this dash meets this windshield. That's the front of your coach. So when you're pushing this or when you're parking this thing up front up to something. That's the front of your coach there. A lot of our competitors just have those dashes to go straight out. Ours are all angled James, down. get in there. See how much leg room you got in there. Does that seat come back, Brent? Get the keys. Yeah. One thing we'd like to talk about at Total Value RV is an exclusive here. It's high up on that seat. Can you tell me how many miles are on this coach? 48 miles. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Higher than that. It's literally like right underneath you. Oh, I got you. Okay. And, and you pull it up. Pull it forward. That, that is a big... Screen. Viewing area. Now pull your desk out, Shay. Hey, you got some yeah. leg room? Oh, man, look you're, that you're a pretty big guy today, Shay. Oh, yeah. oh, how does this work? Pull, out, pull forward yeah. or roll yeah. down? Push up and pull forward. Very nice. Dude. So you can do your laptop. Yeah. So what? Plugs right here. Hey, dude. Sleeping, he says. Hey, honey, grab me a sandwich. I'm working here. She may tell you to get her a sandwich and she may be working. So she may go around and watch TV. And this coach, you can, you can watch TV from the cockpit up there. How we do it, this thing brings out, comes all the way around. And awesome. guess what? The sound oh, bar that's neat. The sound bar comes with us. Awesome. A lot of times the sound's gonna be 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 fixed. With ours, the sound bar comes with everything. Oh yeah, you so no matter that. so no matter, tune. no matter where you're at in this coach, you always have seating. These are new, right, Brad? All of our dinettes. Who thought of this? You all of our yeah. all of our dinettes are now oh, wraparound yeah. dinettes. Yeah. Um, Nice Still a green dinette, so some of our competitors, uh, they don't have the back One, two, three, four, as Scott would say. And a wine rack. All right, Scott, one, two, three, four. Very nice. Wine rack. Very nice, Brent. Very nice. Shut up and take my money. Exactly. Wine rack. Some wine. Now, what's up with this fridge? It's not a residential. What's gas, nice about that? It's a gas electric fridge. It's 12, it's 12 cubic feet. All of our all of our GT5s, they all have gas electric fridges. Um, the other three floor plans will have an 18 cubic foot uh, fridge. This slides in the this fridge is in the slide. It's going to be a 12. It still has the same gas electric features. It's still a lot bigger than, than a lot of our competitors. This one's nice because if the electric happens to go out, you still got your LB. still got your gas. Yep. Um, convection microwave. Oh, cool there. You look at the at the size of this oven. This is a big oven compared to a lot of our competition. Huge, huge. Everybody loves the oven, but again, if you if you don't want to use the oven, you want to use that that for storage. You still got a convection microwave. We've added more countertop space over here. It's a great space for a crock pot, for a coffee pot, some extra storage underneath there as well. We've changed our multiplex up here. We've now added auto gen start to all of our GT fives. Um, that's a new option for 2020. Um, you can see how quick this is. These are your awning lights. That's your uh, level monitors for your water, your awnings, and your water pump, your water heater, your tank heater. That's how you turn everything on. You can always lock it back up. Up, up top, you've got your 2,000 watt inverter. That 2,000 watt inverter will run your 110s in this coach, so you can have this TV running and that sofa running. Right now, Scott's getting a nice massage, and he's got his heated seats on. You can use that sofa as you're driving without that's your generator on. A lot of them have that just for designated for your Just for your fridge. That's that that does the TV, driving, so and everything off of the inverter. But if, but if, Shane, if Shane leans back there. Are you there, currently all the way look, look at this. Kicks yeah. his feet and look at these lights in here. It looks like stars. He can kick nice. his feet up. It's he full of stars. Yeah, Ryan, kick your feet up real quick. Hey, you can you can really sleep. So you've two. got you've got you've got not one, two, three, but four. RV whisper. You've got four reclining positions. You got four people reclining, all watching the TV. Oh, that's nice. All that facing that's the TV. very nice, isn't it? Yeah. And then you got hey, these two turn around. Of that. These two turn around. Part of, that TV part of it as you? well. That's nice. That's you. So two, two. Oh no, is that you? That's Easily nice. six. Because eight, if you nobody's doing got that. Kids. Mm -hmm. Nobody's doing that. Keep in mind, if you look up in the ceilings, we're still using the Whisper Quiet ACs. These also have heat pumps, your front one and your back one. So you've got a heat pump in this one, you get a heat pump in this one. Any day above 
40 degrees. You know what this that. shows you? The radius roof. Yep. Some right. water rolls off. Everything's That's radius roof. Stuff. Or some go up yeah. flat, completely flush. And so do camera man. they got sort of like a flat roof. That one, you can actually see the radius and curvature of the roof. And if you're tall, me and Ivan aren't very tall, but no. if you're tall, tall people notice this roof. When you're, when you're it's walking through up. it. That's nice. One of the other things that, again, people are looking for, they're looking for storage. This is just an extra storage box. However, we also moved our 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 fuse box to the to the uh, uh, storage area. This is a manual override. It's all your fuses. You can also manual override your cell phone and your and your plug-in up there. If you want to roll in your kitchen slide, you can do you can do all of that. You can do all that from from your so control panel as well. So that screen half does not work. That screen doesn't work. Your cell phone doesn't work. This is a third way to get your slide. Very nice. Out. Very nice. Fireplace. Two lights. Awning. This fireplace will heat this whole room. Very very easily puts out great heat. Again, it's directly in front of your uh, it's directly in front of your um, sofa. Back well, in the back. Let's start up the generator real quick. Right start up the generator. I don't want to hear how loud it is. See if you're how loud it is. Wow. Quiet. Extremely quiet. That's not loud at all. Now you can turn this on, right? Let's get some heat in this thing. Oh, no. Oh, well, we have got to wait for it to kick on. I don't hear it. Hey, Brett. This is ambiance. Oh, yeah. Ambiance. Um, yeah. um, I like the little shower in there, too. You got like a little seat that, that they can sit on. It's very pixelated. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this bath here. You got a masturbator. You got the uh, electric. Electric flush. I like the square it's stage. It's hot. <laughs> That's pretty warm, isn't it? Yeah, it hit me in the face. That, that chunk of shit. Where's my favorite? Oh, macerating toilet. Macerating toilet. See? You can tell by this. Okay. Very nice. Look at this. Got storage back there. Storage behind the mirror there, Scott. Behind the mirror. Oh yeah. One more down there. Very nice. Uh, air. We got a counter. Check out the we got the bedroom. We got the bedroom. We got drawers in here. Are these just doors? What are they? Doors. They're just open doors. You got stores underneath. Very there. nice. That helps. Every little bit of storage helps for customers when they're traveling and camping. Again, people look. Everybody's looking for a king bed. Not only do we have a king bed, this is a residential, residential king bed. It's a full 72 by 80. Um, when you buy sheets, when you buy an extra comforter, whatever else you need, your sheets will fit this. It won't be too long, it won't be too How short. That is. What's also nice is when you, if you ever want to swap this mattress out, the length will be the same length. So when this coach slides in, it's not going to buckle. That way you can sleep on this, you can be in this bed with the slides in. You're going to pull in the Walmart storage at night. Underneath? No storage, storage is underneath on the outside. Okay. All right. We've got a nightstand, USBs, and 110s on everything. You need a washer, dryer, plug ins. Your washer dryer goes right in there. Um, everything's combo. We use combos because we want to give you the extra storage underneath. Um, you can you can do all of your. You Open can, that up over there. So yep. they can see. You can do you can do one one full week worth of laundry in our uh, in all of our laundry. In the back, we've got the biggest the biggest shower that we put in any of our motor homes in the back you get a huge shower all of our showers have a one piece uh, one piece fiberglass shower with a built-in seat so we're going to be on TV too, too Jeff I don't know if you've seen that or not it looks pretty nice guys here come here check this out nice bedroom you bigger guys get in there see if you can move them around in there yeah yes big guys <laughs> Nice storage. You can actually make the bed. That's really nice. <laughs> Cameraman. 436 pounds, guys. Look how big that shower is. This is not a small man right here. 436 pounds. We just weighed him this morning. I don't I think, Not even close. I think that's Not even close. Fake. Right, exactly. You are fake news. Just Very nice, Fred. Use. Nice, nice Scott, you want to sign us off? <laughs> RV Whisper. Whisper, would you like to sign us off for today's no. Whisper. Training session? Are you riding off into the sunset? Riding off into the Come sunset. on, Scotty, sign us off. Thanks for watching us, guys. If you're still here, you might ask, how do you get a hold of us? Well, we have a phone, 866-282-4460. Or you can get us on the web at TotalValueRV.com. Or if you go on exit 92 on the toll road 8090, take a right at the first light, a right at the next light, go through the four-way stop, take another right. Three rights in order to make the right decision. One thing they didn't point out to you, which I wanted to show you guys. If you ever get lost in your Georgetown? Oh, there. Oh, that's where you exit.
All right. Have a good day.